Welcome back to the Crypto Report, everybody. I am Crypto Kip, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about regulation due to Terra Luna. What has happened with Terra Luna? Why is it impacting the crypto markets? And what do you guys need to know? What's happening next in crypto? I'm going to talk about that in today's video, so stick around to the end. If you haven't already, smash your like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's take a peek to start with Terra Luna. So, Terra Luna is currently at rank number 208. It has crashed down horribly, miserably in a burning inferno and has been brutal for any and all hodlers of that token. If you guys have some Terra bags, my deepest apologies to you. And I do apologize for anything you've gone through over the last week. I'm sure you've heard enough people with their opinions on Terra Luna and what have you. And, and you're trying to figure out what you should do. You know, guys, uh, I, I'm jealous that I didn't get it when it was pumping up. Uh, I, I admit, I, I, I have to say that I'm relieved I didn't, but I feel so bad for anybody that did. Because when you look at the last seven days for this coin, it fell off a cliff from $70 on 5.8 all the way down to under a dollar by 5.11. You're talking about three days for a hundred percent crash, basically, it it basically devalued. Well, why did it do this? We know that the stable coin for Terra Luna USDT UST, excuse me, crashed down. It's supposed to be pegged to a dollar. Well, it's not pegged to a dollar, and it is crashing very very fast. Um, and you can't even you can't even find it up here. It, 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 this used to be a top ten coin. All of this, so. When this happened, it caused a lot of fear in the markets and it caused a big need for regulation or so the government believes. You're going to start seeing more articles like this. The UK Treasury to push forward with stablecoin regulation. Well, why are they saying this? Look at some of these other articles. So Terra hasn't killed crypto, but it was a narrow escape. The collapse of UST and Luna was devastating, but still there is hope for crypto. Uh, over 1.2 billion Bitcoin reserves remains unaccounted for by Luna. That's an interesting story as well. So everybody's focus on this stable coin, on this project that seems like it was rug pulled. Somebody did a strategic attack here. People are trying to figure out who really planned this attack on Terra Luna, but clearly it was not set up in a stable manner and it's making crypto look bad and stable coins look bad. So you do have articles like this the uk treasury to push forward with stablecoin regulation we have a lot to learn about what will come with stablecoins but her majesty's treasury uh will push forward with a plan to regulate stablecoins based on financial regulation outlined in the queen's speech on may 10th so the queen uh, is talking about crypto the uk treasury announced that it is open to stablecoin regulation for the purpose of payments uh, so guys, what you could do is two things here. You could look at this and you could say, well, this is really bad for crypto. They're going to regulate it out. They're going to make Bitcoin and crypto illegal. That's hyperbole. Don't think like that. Um, you know, but I look at it like this, uh, when you've got presidents and you've got Queens starting to talk about stable coins and cryptocurrency as an everyday thing that legitimizes crypto bitcoin ethereum the ones that aren't going to crash to zero again terra luna was kind of the uh you know the surprise right uh nobody had seen anything like this in a top 10 coin in crypto ever um the stable coin was unique but there are projects that have Excellent tokenomics, um, Bitcoin, you know, Ethereum, uh, they have excellent use case and they're going to be around for the long term. And regulation has to come in sooner than later. Now, in the short term, this causes fear, panic. What's going to happen? They're going to make my coins illegal. That's the panic, right? Um, the long term is once we get all this out of the way then crypto's just here and with us 
And that is why we need to be buying before those days come along. Because by the time it's just every day for everybody, well, then you missed out on the best game potentials, in my opinion. Not financial advice, but this is the way that I like to think about FUD. Fear, uncertainty, doubt, fearful news stories, um, and, and, and try to look at something that's so negative like this Terra Luna situation and see how it's going to drive more positive in the future. You know, a lot of people had some issues with know your customer uh, policies. Well, know your customer KYC for KuCoin and any of these exchanges is actually really good so that the government doesn't have to continue to give us a hard time with our crypto assets. Um, as we can start to get more mainstream and make it easier for governments to tax and account for crypto and make sure that there's no rug pulls, um, which, you know, in general, I like more laissez-faire, you know, hands-off policies when it comes to markets. Um, but they're going to have to get involved in some some sense, right? I mean, you see the way the SEC is currently attacking Ripple. They've been in battle for Ripple. The SEC is also talking about stable coins now. Um, and people like Elizabeth Warren are kind of going to take this opportunity to see, say, see, I told you so, Warren Buffett, who's a Bitcoin bear, say, see, I told you so. So all this in the short term, this is negative. But honestly, in the long term, this is positive because regulation needs to happen so we can just kind of get that out of the way because crypto is still in its infancy. It's still new and people need to figure out how we're going to function with it in our society. And that's really all I see going on here, guys. So did Terra Luna kill crypto? Is Terra Luna going to crash crypto? You know, maybe it scared people in crypto here for a little bit. But look, the broader markets are down right now. We're waiting. And I think one bullish event could really turn this thing around. We could go down more. I, I'm personally more short term bearish for the short term great opportunity to dollar cost average, but one piece of news could turn this thing around in a flash. We've seen it a thousand times. We could absolutely see it again, guys. That's all I got in today's video. I am Crypto Kip. This is the Crypto Report. Don't forget to smash up like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment in the chat box down below if you have any videos you'd like to do for you. Always, guys, always, you gotta remember to DCA, HODL, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, everybody.